and welcome back to D and D with everyone here. Everyone is here. We're all here, all together. <gasps> okay, so uh, recap the last time. Uh, you guys made your ways back from uh, Crowley's little pocket realm inside the Astral uh, Sea after being uh, given the chance to get a long rest in thanks to his former uh, puppet, the uh, Celeste, the now current holder of the Lust Gem. Uh, you, the Manny the Minotaur uh, went to hold off the coming forces that were coming up to uh, s stop you, or at least slow you down. Honestly, you probably would have just tore through them. But you guys ascended up the stairs, where you were encountered with uh, Desra, who was prepared for you. Battles ensued, things were killed. And, yeah, she tried to, wa tried to waste, waste you guys' time. So, uh, yeah, with that, uh, you guys are now at the aftermath of Desra's defeat. And her... I looked into it, Prismatic Wall s still holds up. I th I'm, let me double check that. Oh. There we go. Yeah, it is still up. But you guys have peeled back a few of the layers. You've got, gotten rid of the red layer. Uh, the orange and yellow layer. All you have left are the uh, poison. Poison. Oh, let me see. Let me pull it up so I can see. You got the green, blue, indigo, and violet layers left. And the spell still has like nine minutes left on it. That's a good question. Or if yet. Yeah. Oh, it's right. Yeah, she. You're right. She did actually. No, you're right. Uh, thank you for that reminder. <laughs> she. Yeah, she realized that she was beaten, so she did drop, uh, drop the spell. Even though she wasn't concentrating, now she did. Since she was one that cast it, she can willfully drop it. So. Mm -hmm. Well. It, Well, it was, I forgot there was a reason why I titled last week's session as Pride's Fall. And it was a double meaning I put into it. One, because, well, she died. And two, she actually uh, didn't let her pride get the best of her at the end. And basically knew when she was beat. So, there we go. So, as you guys are preparing to move forward, you feel this immense pressure coming from up the stairs, and this knowing that what awaits you at top. At, at the top of the tower is probably something more than any any of you have ever faced and you all kind of looking at each other seeing how battered and bruised many of you are uh... Mogash you 
start to notice something glowing from one of your pouches. Oh, okay. Uh, I'll say that again. Uh, Mogash, you notice that something is slightly glowing from one of your pouches. You see inside an, an item that was not there uh, before. Uh, something you saw from one of your visions when you were contacted by Malave. You saw this, this was something that she held in her hands. Okay. Yeah, you see this kind of uh, palm-sized orb, and as you touch it, you feel this like radiant warmth coming from it. And as you hold it in your hand, you can hear her voice very faintly in the back of your head, telling you, The moment has come. Use this. To regain your strength. Okay, thank you, Malavay. I'll just kind of hold it with both hands and I'll, like, I'll, I'll touch it to my forehead. Okay. As you do, the entire room is filled with a divine light that washes over each and every one of you. As it does, you feel this energy flow into you, feeling the cracks and cuts in your in your body. And so, right now, if any of you wish to, uh, you can take an immediate short rest, and you can spend hit dice. And you get things back on a short rest that you normally would. Oh, welcome back, Fuji. Um, Malave gave a gift to uh, Mogash that is allowing everyone to take get the uh, the benefits of a short rest. So, uh, so if you want to roll any hit dice, and uh, you know if you get whatever you get back on a short rest, you can. Let me know when you guys are all good to go. Okay. <laughs> okay. But your bardic bardic side would. So. <clears throat> okay.
Yeah, it's an immediate, immediate short rest. Yeah. Okay, if you think if you think you have the time. You hear some screaming coming back in, in reply. And you hear him cover Quickly yells, uh, "No, I do not think that is possible!" Ah! Ah! Look out! And your connection gets cut off. But also, also uh, to also to note, uh, as, as you guys remember, when it was fully assembled by Phil Moore, it was very heavy. At Heavier than what Gar could lift alone, so it will take m most of you, if not all of you, to hold it up. Okay. Alright. Oh. Okay. Is 
Is Gar gonna stay as an Earth Elemental, or...? Oh, that was that's Gara. Oh, that's right. Well, that's true. Time, I guess a minute has gone by with all the talking. Yeah, that is true. So yeah, okay, yeah, that's that's a moot point. It's, <laughs> sorry, I was like, <laughs> here we go. Okay. So yeah. So so as you guys, after getting a quick short rest from Malave, you all quickly start ascending the tower. As you do, you can feel the entire tower shaking and rumbling as if like an earthquake is happening. And you hear. Hmm? Oh, yes. So, you spend enough hit dice for that? <laughs> okay. Okay. So, as you guys are ascending the tower, with its, its rumbling and shaking, if some of you having trouble maintaining your balance as you're running up, you hear this growing, loud, shrieking sound the sound you would hear before with the each beam of that hellish energy that would fire up the center of the tower towards the top by it growing the wails growing even more louder and just ear piercing you can hear multiple screams and shouts of damned souls flying up the tower And then they s silenced as they fly up past you. As you guys keep climbing and climbing, you eventually do come out at the top. Question though, do you guys stay grouped up or you spread out? Okay. Uh, and <laughs> and and oh and 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 go, and uh, guard your freedom of mo you saw freedom of movement on you as an hour has not passed and you still have. Yep, you still have foresight and aid for those of you. So you have that bonus five hit points uh, that I received it last week. So, but as you guys reach the top, you s see this large, hellish energy-looking crystal, almost kind of formed to be like a, a a spear point or a drill point, and you can see it just digging its way through the actual sky. It pressed against this mosaic stained glass almost looking gate as it is trying to dig its way through it. And you see kind of circling around it are seven other smaller looking crystals just circling around it in a rotation. As you guys look around, you don't see any anyone else up here. You're the only ones up here. Okay. Gar, as you... I, as you... <laughs> as you grab out your axe and go take a step forward, you feel the tower rumble again. And it's worse than before, making a lot of you lose your balance. As you begin to see the ground crack and split and splinter before it just <laughs> splits apart pieces going flying everywhere you guys 
separated from each other. Each on a, each on a floating piece of tower floor. And then you hear some laughing. Familiar laughing to you, Gara. As you see emerging from inside the large crystal is this gargantuan sized imposing figure. Body as black as night, wreathed in a, a tunic, uh, kind of a toga robe and sash of golds and royal purples and crimson reds, with a chain hanging around its hip, with, uh, adorned with seven orbs. You see they have six arms that they have crossed over each other, and a skull with horns a light with fire. For the first time, you, you've only seen echoes or vestiges of Kroshax's image, but now you see him in his actual full presence. And even though you were prepared, all of you were prepared to face this creature, you all feel a chill go through your bodies as you gaze upon him, as if something in your very core and your soul fears for itself. And I will go ahead and get you guys transferred over to the battle map. Oh, okay. Right, yes. Uh, so yeah, if any of you wanted to do those, you could, yes. <laughs> You guys may have to redrop in your tokens. I'm just temporarily dropping them in because I'm not sure if you guys can move them or not. But all right, here we go. Transfer over. May have to zoom out as well. <laughs> nope, I can move my token. Okay. <laughs> he did. <laughs> yeah, everyone check their check your token to see if you can move. Oh yes. I'll I'll uh I'll yeah, I'll send you guys you, you to the top. Uh layer Move to front. There you go. Oh, all right. So as you guys are, oh, sorry, Serena. There we go. So as you guys are f just floating here on these islands, separate. The air around you feels very odd, and you feel a bit lighter than you normally would. All right, a little uh, <clears throat> DM hint that you can jump a bit better now. You got hops, man. So. <laughs> but, uh. As you all kind of gaze at this figure before you. Let me go ahead and. You see, watch as the skull kind of. The jaw cracks and unhinges, and it f kind of just floats there, hanging below the top half. No muscles or sinew holding it together. But it starts to speak. <laughs> Welcome. I see you all made it in one piece. 
I hope you enjoyed my tower and all the joys it offered you on your way here. Well then, you have a front row seat to the end of your life and your world as you know it. And some, the birth of something new and greater. Come, let's say hello to the heavens and knock on their door. You watch as he raises up his six hands and the crystal begins to oscillate and spin faster and faster. And you can start seeing cracks starting to form in, in the heaven's gate. The, the divine gate separating your plane of existence from the upper ones. And I need you guys all to roll initiative. Yeah, you just. <laughs> oh, I I forgot to clear. I forgot to clear initiative. One sec. Okay, wait, because I I am seeing two in the list. Yeah, yeah. I I'm going to, have to compare. <laughs> Uh, let's see. So, okay, so, no, 26 then. Serena has 7.1. So, I'll give it a 13. Mercy had a 20, 23.2. Uh, Mogash had a 14. Uh, Peace had a 22. Finn had an 11. Oh, wait. Uh, Raidens. Can't forget Raidens. 22.2. Yes. And then Finn's. Okay, let's get rid of the 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay. Wait a minute. 1, 2, 3. Should I accidentally delete someone's? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Nope. Okay. And then just the big bads. Yay! <laughs> uh, oh, there he is. Okay. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and really, I rolled a nine to add my mod, and I get a one. So still not rolling above. Okay, and Kroshax is coming in with 15. All right. Let's get this going. All right, so let me see. Descending order. First up, we have Mercy. Yeah, you you are eighteen now. Yeah, since uh, twenty seven does hit. Eighteen. Okay, so okay, so twenty eight, thirty, thirty four points of damage, or yeah, thirty four points of damage. Okay. Uh, 
Um, okay, uh, just 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 a point of clarification, everyone. Uh, gravity is lessened, but not completely gone. Then yeah, then you can. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Next in the turn order is Raiden. Okay. That'll be my action, and I'll fly to shoot more shots. Just going right up on okay. <laughs> you know, that's how this is going to work. Hey, I'm a monk. You guys want to do Um, um Karst, is he flying? He is, he, he seems to be hovering in place. Okay. He is not uh, touching ground, so I'm not sure how well earthquake earthquake or, would work. Because so yeah. he, he's hovering, that means he's not touching ground. Yeah. <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> so it's like, mm, you know. Mm. Okay. Right in front of me. Actually, um, I can draw it, right? Yeah. Yeah, you can just, uh, does it persist afterwards, or is it just kind of like a one and done thing? Um, let me see. Create a line of fire, 50 long, 5 feet wide. Each creature in line must make a dexterity save. Okay. Take 3d6 on a failed save. Okay. Oh. Okay. Nineteen. Okay. Okay, that is a fail. So go ahead and roll a three d six. Seventeen. Okay. No, he failed the save. Oh, he failed. Yeah. Oh, okay. He he rolled he rolled a fifteen. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Fifteen. Okay. All right. So. Uh, next up is Gara. Uh, how how bef often how before did you do it? Because you still have that one minute time limit. Okay, so. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So I'll say you probably will have just two rounds less uh, of rage. So, twelve. So twelve seconds. So you still have eight eight full rounds. Yeah. Just letting you know. Just so you can keep track. Yeah, that's... Mm, they need a little... Clarification that you want to... <laughs> well, Alright, go ahead, Gara. So, on rage, how long it lasts with persistent rage. Does it still have the minute time limit? Or if she keeps getting hit, does it keep going? Yeah. Yeah. All right. So Okay, 
So as you kind of take a couple steps back, you run, kicking off the edge, leaping from floating piece of floor to piece of floor till you get to the central piece that Crochax is centered around. Yeah, he's okay. Though he is uh, floating above the ground, though. He's... He back. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I am going to activate the uh, okay. I'm going to then recklessly attack him. Okay. Alright, uh, those will both hit. 20 and 24. Okay. Alright, at the end of your turn, he's going to use a one of his legendary actions. And he is going to... Yeah. So, as you watch as... You see these these orbs on his chain belt that hangs around his waist begin to glow light, and you watch popping out from his body, which for Raiden and Gar, you're up close, you can see that his flesh, every now and then you can see these writhing, contorted faces that push up and press against his flesh, almost trying to like break through before they submerge back under, just kind of writhing and oscillating and you can faintly hear these muffled screams of pain and sorrow and cackling laughter of insanity but first legendary reaction you do see appear from behind him these seven eyeball orbs and they each kind of vroom, 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 lock on to one of you But only three of you are within range. Or so you think. And he's going. So, uh, towards Gara, this red eye fires at you for a 27 to hit. Okay, as you throw up your shield, the energy collides against it, and you can hear this this horrible, like, rage-filled howling just pierce your ears. Uh, let's see. Towards Raiden, this, uh, let's see. 21 to hit. That misses. Okay. Wait, what's your AC at? Wow, really? Damn. Damn, man. Alright, then towards Mogash. On disadvantage. Oh, yes. Okay. Okay. Oh, that is... Yeah, that's a miss. Uh -oh. Okay. Uh, so, uh, peace, your turn. Yes. Mm hmm.
Oh, okay. Okay. Flight or non-flight? Yeah. Combat doesn't have flight. Hmm. But you can still have a... You still hop as a dragon. <laughs> uh, let's see. Well, you didn't... I think you... Yeah. I, I'd say you still have 30. Yeah. Yeah, easily. Okay. Okay. Yeah, this is the first time Mogash is seeing this. Okay. All right. So, uh, so it's the end of your turn. Yeah. Okay. So Croshax's turn. He is going to. Um. He's going to rise up into the air. Just kind of floating upwards. And is going to. Okay, so <clears throat> Ah, okay. He is going <laughs> Let's see. He is going to cast incendiary cloud. No. Oh. Hmm. Nah, he's going. Instead, he's going to do Firestorm. So. Let's see, 10, 10 foot cubes. So, that means he's going to start with Yugara. And go to you, Raiden. They do. Yeah. So then, boom, boom. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I have enough range. So you can get peace. And he can just get to Finn. Fire type. So, so yeah, I need, so I need everyone, those the four of you, to make a dexterity saving throw. Oh, yep. fuck! <laughs> All right, all right. So, okay. Uh. Okay. Well, Raiden succeeds. Uh, Gara and Finn would fail. Yes. Okay, so that's seventy ten for let's see forty two points of fire damage. Yeah, 
I rolled, had some pretty bad rolls. Okay. I thought, wait, I thought that was just for physical attacks. I thought, yeah, I thought I tried, oh, yeah. I might have specified that after, you know, yeah, that was a while back. <laughs> Okay. All right. He's then going to move over this way, fl hovering through the air, and is going to. Yeah, uh, you and Gar both had a chance to opportunity attack him since he did. Uh, since Yeah, that'll hit. 28 and 29. Wow. Okay. So, as Gar and Rain, you guys, and Mercy, if you guys landed some hits on, you notice that they're not seem to having the full force or impact that they should you can you see as you keep colliding with his body his body feels weird when you hit it there's something odd about it and you can even swear you can even see some of his wounds healing not sure about you know, haven't been enough radiant damage to be sure. Uh, let's see. So with that spell. Let's see, he could still a spell that level. He can do do two eye blasts. So he is going to let's see. So yeah, rest of this moment to come float down this this way a bit. And yeah, he's uh gonna fire two eye blasts. One at you, Serena, and one at Yugara. So let's see if he can hit this time. Um let's see. Uh, he's gonna fire his black eye at you, Serena. Uh, that's a 28 to hit. Okay. Uh, you take 18 points of necrotic damage. And I need you to make a constitution saving throw. Yeah, that's a fail. Alright, so as the beam slams into you, it hurts. And you can feel this necrotic energy. Digging at your flesh, but that's not the only thing. You start to feel stiffer, and you start to notice that, like your fingertips, your flesh starting to turn to stone. All right, and for Raiden, got a red eye coming at you. Uh, it's twenty-three to hit. Okay. All right, you take 17 points of fire damage. I need you to make a wisdom save. I have resistance. Okay. So that is half to eight. All right, and you make the save. As it, the beam hits you, you can feel this like seething rage starting to build up inside you, but you shrug it off and focus on what needs to be done. All right, that's the end of his turn. Mogash. Okay. So, a question. Yes. So, Roach Axe is up here floating above some of these, like, uh, the rocky things. Can, 
Yes. You you can still stand on. Yeah, he's he is floating ab above them. Oh. Okay, that's what I thought. I just wanted to double check. Yeah. Uh, uh, let me. Let me... Oh right. Sorry. Uh. Yeah. No, I I uh, kind of changed my mind last second. Gotcha. Yeah. It's like... Jeez, uh, okay. Ooh, okay. I'm gonna have to think about this. I did, I did not, I did, I did not consider this contingency. Oh God. Oh, yeah. No, I mean, okay. Okay. Uh. Yep, I'll, I'll allow it. Just, my brain is thinking right now. Oh, okay. That'll hit. Uh, that'll miss. I have to think up of AC on the spot. That misses. That misses. Okay, but you did get one hit in. Okay. Okay. Uh, 19 and 17. Okay, I'm just, uh, one second, Rooney. Let me get, let me get my notepad real quick. Okay. Uh... 36, okay, thank you. I'm ha just going to you keep keep adding up this, this stuff. Sorry, Sebastian. And you said that right there. Okay. Alright, so Mogash, as you try to pummel it, you, your fir first hit gets in, but as you try to get the others one, it seems like the, the crystal is trying to re instinctively defend itself. Making your other blows miss, and but as your first one gets through, you see this energy begin to coalesce into the area where you cracked it, and you are slammed with oh boy, uh oh boy, uh let's see. 19 points of uh, necrotic damage as it kind of just like this retaliation to your attack kind of slams back against you. You, you you can you can try to hold on. Uh, you can make a strength check to see if you can hold on. Uh, sure. Okay, you just I'll say you just managed to to hold on, keep yourself from sliding down, because it is like a smooth crystal, but you're kind of like digging in your your fingers and your gauntlets to hold on. All right, all right. Uh, it's at the end of your turn. Okay. Finn, you're up. Yes. Okay. Oh, son of a... You and... F you and peace, man. You and peace. It's, it's like... It's like a... It's like a dick... It's like a dick measuring contest for you two, man. Jeez. Uh. <laughs> uh. You can once you leave, once you reach level twenty. You can. <laughs> yes. 
Yes, you still have your movement. Stand or just fly in the air? Okay. Kroshax is just gonna look at you too. And you're like, just kind of, you see, like, he doesn't have eyebrows, but you can swear his eye, an eyelids, you can see his, swear his eyes are narrowing at you. Mm -hmm. What? what? Wasn't an act? Oh, wait, you quickened, right? Right? Okay, what's the, the save he has to make for that? Um, possibly. Let me see here. Go on. Uh, so, it will be very close. You're like, just like Gara and Mogash are just like on the... Like the the very line of the cone. So but I will uh I'll say make uh you guys make a dexterity save real quick. Uh with advantage since you're on the edge. Just kind of like pull yourselves away from uh this breath weapon. Okay, so you exhale a gas. Each creature... Oh, I'll go. Okay. 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 Okay, uh, Mogash, I need you to make a dexterity save. Oh, you did? That's it. Yeah. Okay, well, you have advantage, you have advantage, Mogash. Yeah, yeah, since you're just on the very edge of this. Oh, jeez. <laughs> okay. All right, all right. Uh, Finn's breath weapon as he turned into a dragon. Oh. Um, I'm just going to keep it No, uh, you, he's not going to do it since you guys are just kind of like in the line of it. Just kind of very, kind of like very close. Yeah. And, and for you, uh, piece who I see measuring, I, I just kind of centered it on his token itself. Yeah, I... Yeah. And you kind of see it's just barely touching. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Alright, so... Dashing, okay. All right. So at the end of your turn, he's going to use a legendary action to make some eye blasts uh, at the new dragon and the man punching his fucking crystal. <laughs> All right. So uh, okay, orange beam coming at you. Okay. Oh, shit, that's a fourteen. All right. Second, he's. All right, he's going to fire, uh, uh, okay, he's going to, okay, he's going to fire a purple one at you, uh, 21. That will hit, now question. Yeah, right. yes. I'm going to throw this in the chat. You should take a read. I don't think this applies here, but maybe it does. If it does, sick. Mm-hmm. It's a. It's a range. It's a range to attack that hit me. So, 
Yeah, but it's not like a. Uh, yeah, it's kind of like a range. It's like it's more like a ranged magic attack. So I'm not sure if you can catch magic. I, yeah, I, I don't know. That is a, I mm, probably should have been brought up earlier, but uh. Yeah, there's no, th yeah, no throwing back. You can try to reduce it though. So. Well, oh. uh, so you reduce it by two. Okay. Okay. Alright, so you do reduce the damage to zero. Uh, I will need you to make me an intelligence saving throw, though. But since you did reduce the damage to zero, I'll give you advantage on this. Awesome, thank you. Yep. Oh my gosh, I rolled above a 10. Holy shit! <laughs> Alright, yeah, you make the save. Jeez, my god! Alright, uh, Serena. Uh, let's see, uh, I need you to make an another constitution save. Twenty one. Ooh, not just oh, just blow what you needed. Oh, no. Okay, the petrification begins to spread across your body. It can be undone, uh, undone though, in case the player doesn't know that. Hmm. Okay. So, Fable, what you want to do is Serena is slowly turning to stone. Okay. All right, yeah, you can. Good. Good job. Okay. Well, you do have a, a wyvern at your command. Who can move on uh, pieces turn since he uses movement to get to you. Okay. I will... He could use his reaction to do it, to kick off and move. Okay, will do. All right. Uh, so the end of uh, Serena's turn. Let's see. He's um, Kroshax is going to use another legendary action to fire two more beams. Let me see here. <laughs> God damn it. Alright, there you go. Fable, you should have access to the sheet. Alright, so, coming at you, yeah. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, another orange beam coming at you. Um, uh, Mogash, sorry. Uh, 25 to hit. Okay. Uh, I need you. I need you to make a strength saving throw. Seventeen. Okay. You take. Make 
Uh, you take 15 points of cold damage. Okay. Is that strength save a fail? And that strength save is a fail. Mm -hmm. So. Spend a key point to re roll it. Okay. Okay. I'm going to do that. Okay. Aha! Uh -huh. I rolled above a 10. Let me double check his DC real quick. 22 makes it. Okay, so you do not have disadvantage on attacks. Uh, and, and, okay, so then uh, beam coming at you, at you, Gara. Uh, let's see. Gonna kind of shoot his black eye at you. Fuck. 18. Damn it. Okay. M Mercy, your turn. You can't stun a crystal. <laughs> okay. Yes, I think so. Can, you can't knock it prone either. <laughs> it's flowing my magic. Okay. I don't know. That will... Wait, let me double check. Uh, he's going to shield. <laughs> okay, who yeah. here? That'll hit. Oh, fuck! Okay. So let's see, sixteen mm, arrow damage plus uh thirty three. Okay. Uh, Plan of warrior. Okay. Yeah. I'm just... Okay, because I'm pretty sure he's not he's not a favored enemy for you. Oh, that's true. I, I for, sorry, I forgot. I, I thought humanoid. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> Hmm. All right. Okay. Okay. So as you fire your arrows, uh, the first one, seemingly that's gonna hit its mark, he throws up a shield and de and deflects it. Your second one bouncing off, but you think you find it open and you <laughs> and it finds its mark as you as it does. You channel your energy in into it. It flying into the uh, down the shaft of your arrow. And erupting in radiant energy, you see it burning at his flesh, and actually leaving a nasty mark. All right, Raiden. <laughs> that wouldn't hurt. <laughs> Pretty sure. Okay, Raiden, you're up. Yeah. 
Um, it seemed to be some type of hellish version of elemental energy. Is acid one of them? Yeah, I'm not entirely sure. Yes. Is it accelerating up the sky? Like, it currently it, it currently is, is trying to get through a door that is on the other side. Okay, I, I have a spell, but I'm not sure if it's going to work. Um, if I cast a gust of wind that is pushing wind downwards, then it's going to be Uh... You're not sure, and you're not entirely sure gusts of wind would be strong enough to affect it. Okay. Okay. Punchy? <laughs> I, I want to do something. Um, okay, I'm going to try to water whip Roshax to hear him. Okay. Okay. So you spend a key point to pull some creature. To balance it, creature three feet must make a dexterity save. Okay, dexterity save. Uh, boom, boom. Oh boy, thirteen. He's prone. Okay, I'm not sh really sure how prone would affect a hovering creature. Uh. Okay. Okay. You st oh, you still do. You still deal damage, though. So, so you can't. So go ahead and roll your uh, damage. It's a martial die plus your wisdom modifier. No, it's a. Oh, however, your martial die is at this level. Well, it's a. Uh, you get an extra d10 if you roll. A uh, if you use an additional key point, yeah. If you just spend just the one key point, then it's just his marshal die. Okay, I'm what he is saying. Uh, so. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. Kershax is getting really tired of you, so he's going to use another legendary action. And he's going to... <sighs> Damn. Uh, he's going to blast you, Finn. Or attempt to. 20, 25 to hit. Okay, I need you to make a wisdom save, and you'll take 27 points of fire damage. You're immune to fire. Shit. Okay. Well, uh, you well you do fail the wisdom save. Uh, so you are currently in a confused rage. So at the beginning of your next turn, uh, you'll need to roll a d20. Uh, a ten or lower. Uh, you are in control of your action. Eleven or higher, you uh, at, will attack. A single target at random. Not the closest, no. But it this effect ends at the at the end of your next turn. All right then. Uh, Mogash, you've proven to be a pain in the butt. Uh, But uh, yeah, he's uh, 
Okay, he's gonna fire, try to fire his black eye at you again. Ooh, natural 20. Okay, I'm gonna need, need you to make a constitution save. Aw, world. That... That is a fail. Oh god, it's even worse! Alright, you take uh, 26 points of necrotic damage, and you begin to begin slowly petrifying. Alright, Gara, you're up. Ooh, yeah, that'll hit. Okay. Probably, it's, I think so. Yeah, for your rage damage, I think so. 5e tools quick. Or the barbarian page here. I guess I could check that too. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you're supposed to be as five. Oh, no, six. Six. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Woo, boy. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I have a real critical rates that I actually get four because uh uh gravity Alright, is that the end of your turn? Yeah. Yep. Or, or not. Or not. Or not. You know. Don't Oh, yeah, 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 you... Hmm. Wait a minute. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Uh. Yeah. 
Uh, let's see here. Mm. One. No, actually, uh. Two of those do hit. Hey. Yeah. Yeah, that's one of the... Uh, let me see. Sorry. Uh... Yes. Uh... So those uh, would be separate. Yeah. Oh no, I'm get I'm getting it. He does not. But but it appears to be doing full damage compared to what the other ha attacks were. If you if you activated it closer, you probably could have. All right, so uh, let's see. All right, so on his turn, <sighs> boy, you guys put him in a bit of a bit of a pickle. He's going to focus on all of you. So, so I need... 
Let's see. Uh, as he's getting very angry, he's just going to take a kind of deep breath. You might, guys, might want to cover your ears a bit. And he's going to let out a powerful yell. And is going to cast Psychic Scream. So, I need everyone within 90 feet of him to make a intelligence saving throw. Mm-hmm. Alright, he is going to counterspell your counterspell. You're using your reaction to counterspell. You can't use you can't use two reactions on your <laughs> So Uh, the DC is 22. It's an intelligence save. Well, you are next... Well, you are next to Finn. Or, I mean, Peace. He does have his aura thing. Jeez, Mogash. Apparently. Okay. Okay, so... You can use your key to... Why? You, you succeeded. It's a... DC's 22. Oh, wait. Oh, sorry. I was looking at Finn's. Sorry. So, yeah, yeah. You can use your key to re-roll. Oh, okay. That's a fail. Okay. So... No, I was looking at Raiden. Sorry. Uh, so yeah. So, uh, peace, Raiden, Gara. Uh, yeah, it's everyone within ninety feet of them. Yeah. It's a psychic scream. It just it goes around protection. Yeah. Yeah, it's leash the power of your mind to blast the intellect of up to ten creatures of oh of your oh of your choice that you can see within range. Uh will you Yeah, Mers yeah. Tech yeah, technicality. So that she, if she cannot be seen. Okay. So yeah, he just can't see you, which makes targeting you targeting you would be hard. So, so. <laughs> okay, uh, the wyvern would have to roll too, but I think it's gonna fail. All right, so those that f yeah yeah, so those that failed will take full damage and are stunned. Those that s succeeded take half and aren't stunned. So, okay, I'm gonna need a lot of d6 here. Oh, double stunned, double stunned. yeah. Gara can't be stunned. Right, Gara can't be stunned. Let's see, five, ten. Uh, let's see, so that is, oof, okay, uh, math. Let's see, 29, 33, four, 43 points of psychic damage. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Alright, um, so stun targets, you guys can make... Forty-three points of psychic damage, if you failed, um, and you are stunned, and you 
at uh, at the end of your turn, you can make an intel another intelligence saving throw to try to end the stun effect. Ow. I, I, uh, Mogash is a little beat up. Raiden's a little beat up. Uh... All in all, though, I think we're all okay. Uh, though you might not, though you might not be after this, as he. Let's see, that was a level nine spell, so he can fire one eye beam. So let's see, he's going to fire an eye beam. Mm, let's see, Mogash has been dealt with. He's pet, being pet, slowly petrified. Um, <clears throat> let's. He's gonna blast peace since he just. Smacked him with all that radiant damage, which is not cool. Not cool, bro. Uh, he's going to fire his green eye at you. So, stunned. So, advantage on this. Oh. Yeah. So, 27 to hit. Yeah. He's rolled 27 and 28. That was. Okay. So, uh, well, you would be required to make a deck save, but since you're stunned. Wait, can you still when you're stunned? I don't think so. Oh. Okay, so you take 26 points of acid damage. And that's the end of his turn. Mogash. Make another constitution save. Yeah. Okay. 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 Oh, shit. Okay. Yeah, you kind of flex your muscles and kind of tense up and shake off the uh, bust off the stone that's, that was petrifying around you. Damn, you guys. <laughs> Lay down the whammies. 22. Okay. 15 misses, yeah. Okay, okay, so you got two hits in. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab my notebook here. Okay. So, 45. And... 75 points of damage, okay, on top of the 36 from before, brings it to 111. Okay, alright, so as you whammy it a couple more times, you start seeing more cracks form, and you're going to take some necrotic damage in return. So. Okay, you take uh, 23 points of necrotic damage. Masochist. No. <laughs> okay. All right. The the end of your turn. He he's going to use since God's legendary actions uh, legendary actions back. He's going to uh, fire two beams. Uh, he's going to aim at you, Mogesh, because you got he's got to stop you from doing this. This is not good. Damn it, baby, no. Okay. <laughs> okay. Alright, well, that one misses. 23 to hit. Okay. Okay. 
you're gonna reduce it. Yeah. yeah. I rolled 14. Yeah, you you reduced it. Jesus. Well, with your level added, you reduce it anyway. Okay. <laughs> so, but I uh, will need you to make a strength save, though. You will have advantage because you didn't deflect it. Okay, that's still a fail. So, as the orange beam slams into you, even though you deflected a lot of the cold energy, some of it still kind of courses up and like, pierces through your skin, and you have disadvantage on attacks for the, until the end of your next turn. <laughs> Make your few rare rolls above ten even even worse. All right, Finn, you're up. Okay, he will get an opportunity attack on you. Okay, he's, you see as he kind of pulls out from his sash these two pair of golden rods, and you watch as these kind of ethereal energy chains kind of form between them, and he's going to whack you. Oh, nunchaku. Okay. Uh, fuck, 12 to hit. Oh, man. Jeez. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yep. Well, except you don't get gain spell slots back. You just are fully healed. Yep. Holy shit. Holy shit. That's why you moved 60 feet away. God damn it. Holy shit. Okay. Wow. Well, you can't do it infinitely. So. Uh, well, I mean, you can't keep doing Wish because of if you keep doing it while it weakens, you know, you could fail. So. Oh, uh, also, I need you... Uh, let's see. The stress of casting a spell is to produce any effect other than another spell. Okay. All right, so so would this uh, constitute you taking the damage? Mm -hmm. Oh, and you also take damage every time you try to cast a spell yep. until you finish a long rest. Eat one d10 per damage level per <laughs> per level. Ooh. 
true. Okay. Yeah, you, you've all well. You have all. You don't get your spells back. You just, it just heals you, correct? Yep. Yeah. Okay, just it, it. You're fully healed, and any negative effects on you are taken away, as if Grey Restoration was cast. Yep, Serena, you're up. <laughs> yeah, fuck. Mm hmm. Yes. Mercy. <laughs> oh, midnight. <laughs> Sorry, what's what you're talking about? Okay. Oh, fuck. Oh my god! Okay. Okay, well thankfully he made the the dexterity save. So that's... Okay, math. <sighs> 84 damage. <sighs> Whoo! Boy, okay. So, it's 84, succeeded, 42, okay. Alrighty. 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 Oof. So, worse than he was before. That, uh, those smites really hurt him. <laughs> he doesn't like you guys! <laughs> Alright, is that the end of your turn? Okay. Ooh, boy. Barely. Okay. Alright, Danny Church. Yeah. At the end of his, your turn, he's going to. <sighs> okay. He's going to spend. A... Oh, boy. Uh, yeah, he's going to use up a couple. <sighs> a couple legendary action points to do this. He needs to. He needs to. He, he needs to. Um, he is going to. Uh, let's see. He's going to. No, he's he's going to cast mass suggestion. And he so. Every creature he can see. Um, let me double check. Right, you can't be. Well, they they can be, but they can use a key to shake it off. Action, yeah. yeah. Um. So yeah. So you so. see charms. You have advantage against them in combat. Hmm. I don't know if this charm says that. Uh, that's why I'm checking. Okay. Uh, it's asking. A Let's see. Let me do to a sentence or two. 
uh, creatures. Okay, so uh, let's see. Yeah, wisdom save. Uh, doesn't look like there's advantage for. Yeah, but yeah, this, yeah. This doesn't. This one doesn't specify that you have advantage if you're hostile. Uh, doesn't. So, so yeah. I need everyone within sixty feet. Um. Yep, yeah, you can see that he can see within range. Well, you're out of his range. Yeah. So. Uh, every creature to, that can't, that is instantly immune to charm, besides, uh, doesn't need to roll, but I need the rest of you to roll a wisdom save. He's going, to, he's going to cast a spell and say, kill your friends. Son of a... Wait, why do you have advantage? No, there's no advantage on this one. Yeah. So, Raiden and Mogash fail. Serena, I. Oh, you're using reaction. Yes, yeah, just wait for Serena. <laughs> and uh your wyvern. That's a good point. Uh, I'm not seeing anything that says it can't be charmed. Oh, oh okay. Okay, Raiden makes it. Oh, sweet. Oh, yeah, stream. You didn't. All right. So, yeah. Mogash and Serena are currently. Oh, she did. Okay. Hmm. Hey, Carson. If I consider this crystal my friend. Yes. <laughs> Why is he now? But you don't consider him a friend. Oh, no. Uh -uh. <laughs> Why would you all of a sudden? Why were you attacking your friend first then? Huh? Sure. <laughs> oh, that's just a stereotype. Typing. <laughs> oh, all right. So, uh, okay. Yeah, I guess. <clears throat> I. Yeah, since it doesn't really state it otherwise, I guess though it just is like he's superseding your control right now, temporarily. So he's just say he's kind of overriding that command then. Uh, but though if. Uh, 
Yeah. See, it says, if you or any of your companions damage a creature affected by the... Oh, the, by the spell. Okay, the spell ends, so... Uh, so that's only if he hurts the, the wyvern. So yeah, currently the wyvern is now hostile. Uh, yep, your turn, Mercy. Sorry for the wait. Okay. Yeah, that'll hit. Oof. Okay. Oof. Now hit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. That'll miss. Okay. I'll miss. Yeah. Okay. Okay. The end of your turn. Yeah, you should be able to. Okay. Alright, so at the end of your turn, he's going to use... He's going to use a couple more legendary actions. God, man, you guys are really forcing this on him. Alright. Man, I mean, you're, 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 you're pushing him to the limit. Alright, so he's... Alright, he's going to consume... Yeah. So I need everyone within uh, 20 feet of him to make a constitution save. It, it's kind of from the edge, of, kind of the edge of him. That is true. Fuck. Fuck. Damn it. <laughs> Man, bro. Roll 20 is fucking everyone over. Okay. Okay. Alright, so uh, for those that failed, um, you guys, you will take 37 points of necrotic damage. And that's a fail on your reroll, Finn. Because you rolled a 1. You take half that, yeah. It's more of a, an aura effect. It's it's not a spell, no. Uh, Thirty-seven necrotic. Halved if you got a twenty-two or over. Okay. Nine. Okay. Okay. Uh, 
Okay. And Mogash, you succeeded, so you take half 37. Okay. Uh, Serena fails, so you take 37. And, yep. Yeah. And Peace takes 37. Unless you have some grant new resistance. Yes. Okay. Oh, uh, does your, is your was your wyvern in range of this too? No. Oh, he was. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Well. Well. If Serena is hit, then the wyvern would be hit too. The yeah. So they. Constitution, yeah. It, yeah, that's a fail. Still up though, yeah. And hey, you got the healer. Yeah. So as Kroshax hits you all with this just wave of necrotic energy, you feel like he's pulling something from you all. And you can watch as his wounds begin to mend. Okay, Raiden, you're up. Mm -hmm. He's not a vampire. He's well. This isn't regeneration. This is just this is a an action thing. Well, not an action, but like, well, legendary action. So it's like he's. I'm trying. I'm failing on the words. So, but Raiden, you're up. The biggest one, I'm guessing. <laughs> I'm going to cash away. I'm going to cash away. I'm going to let him hit me. Oh. I know that Kershak's hit me. I'm going to focus all my attention on the crystal. So you're just moving out of his range then? or? Okay. Um. Well, he did use his reaction already to whack uh, Finn. So he can't. It, it's up in the air. Okay. I guess I should have Mogash keep rolling strength checks to make sure he can hold on. <laughs> yeah, I was near the top. I don't know if that helps. yeah, roll me a strength check. Or a strength save, sorry. See if you can hold on. Okay, yeah. Okay, Raiden, go ahead and punch. Oh fuck! <laughs> okay. Oh damn. Jeez. Okay. <laughs> I hate you guys. I hate you sometimes. Okay, so oh, all right. So who wants to do math for me? So what was with that last damage? What type was it? Yes. What type of what type of elemental damage were you doing? Acid. Okay. Eighty. Okay. Whoo, boy. Ah! Oh my god! 
Okay, yeah. Uh, with those blows, uh, cracks start begin forming um, across the surface of this crystal. And the spinning of it begins to uh, slow down. Yeah, oh, but uh, just note, uh, Raiden and Mogash, you guys are feeling very nauseous as this thing is just spinning round and round and round and round. <laughs> Mm -hmm. yeah. All right, Gara, you're up. So how how is this uh, asshole? Uh, better than he was a moment ago before he did that whoom thing. Don't play whack a wolf, my man. <laughs> what did he ever do to you? Jeez. Gosh. Man, it's like it's like he was responsible for killing your, some of your friends and family. Man. You know, I mean. Shut up. Shut up and die. Oh. That'll hit. That'll hit. That'll hit. Uh, so let's see. Uh, I need some math. Yeah. So 18 rage. Okay. What's the slashing? 80 points of slashing damage. Oh, wait, is that total? Okay. So minus 18 rage. Sorry, got sorry, mark down the rage. So the, so that'd be 70 minus 8 would 62. Okay, cool. Okay. Okay. Good point. He, uh, yeah. Yeah, you can. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So, uh, um, Amelius. Uh huh. That's done. Removed. Okay. Bonus action. Uh, is that is that like? Okay. Uh, huh. What was? 
What's your DC? 18, okay. That's just a piece of the, the background. That's uh, the sky falling. So wisdom save. All right, he's going to use a legendary resistance to succeed on that. Yep. Is that the end of your turn? Okay. Okay. He... Oof, boy, this is going to be tough. Um... see here. Alright, he's going to fly up into the air. Higher and higher. You do. Go, Go ahead. Oh! Okay. Wait, do you get the... Do you get advantage? Oh, okay. So, yeah. 25 will hit. Yeah. Okay. So. Okay. 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 Math. Math is fun. Not. <laughs> okay. So I got the rage down. So just what's your slashing? Nice. Wait, 72. 72. Is that, oh, we adding up at both? Or? Uh, it's the oh, I'm sorry. I, I... Okay. Yeah. So, some, is that, and that's not adding the rage in, or is that adding rage in too? No, that's not adding rage Okay. Rage. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much. All right, so, oh boy. Uh, Okay, so uh, no, it's it's fine. It's 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 all it all adds up. All right, so Crochax is going to boy. Uh, hmm. All right, he's gonna have to. Yeah, he's gonna have to have to do this. Um, I will need, uh, let me see, as he kind of, he'll fly over this way a bit, as he'll fly up and get his eyes on you, Mercy, as you've been kind of skirting him this entire time. Uh, yeah, he's going to fly over this way, just fly over you guys' heads. But he is going to... Oh, right, sorry, yeah. Sorry, not fly up, but fly down. My bad. The So. How am I going to do that? Okay, oh, good. You guys are on top, so yeah. He is underneath the platform that Mercy, that, not Mercy, but uh, Peace and uh, Yeah, Peace and Gar are on. Peace and Gar are on, sorry. Yeah, names. <sighs> okay, can he? Yeah, he's so he's gonna send his eyes outward to get view on all of you, and I need Serena, Gara, Amelius, Raiden, Mogash, and Mercy to make a oh uh, shoot, what was it? A wisdom saving throw. Okay, fuck. Okay. Okay. So, fuck, Gara succeeds too. Okay. Well, 
All right, so as part of his dual cast, the only one that fails is Mercy. So, Mercy, you feel the air around you begin to vibrate and kind of uh, shimmer, and you feel your whole form qu uh, kind of shaking and quaking, and all of a sudden you are just <laughs> taken away, and <laughs> you reappear next to Finn. Well, well, <laughs> well, more of a scatter, but yeah. All right. Well, that kind of throws a that throws a bit of, that throws a that throws a bit of a wrench into his plans as he was going to do do a dual cast, try to gather you guys up, but. Shit. Okay. He's gonna have to, and he's gonna have to try something else. I. Uh... Yeah, he did. Um. Okay. Uh. Shit. All right. Yeah. As part of his other dual cast, he, and it's not going to be worth casting a, an attack spell on if you're not grouped up for him. So he's going to disappear. Yeah, not sure. Uh, yeah. Uh, run a perception check. See if you can spot. See if you can. See if you can spot his magical casting. See if you can can see it. All right. A ten, so uh, you can't tell. It's, it's it's too much debris in the way. Okay. Well, fooey. <laughs> okay, uh, Mogash, it's your turn. Oh fuck. Okay. So that was my action. I cast a march. Mm hmm. And I guess mentally he's just going to say, uh, Is it time for the weapon now, or do we need to weaken it? Weaken him. the end of your turn, he's going to use a leg legendary action and he's going to fire two beams. Uh, some, this, in this vicinity. Alright, so he's going to, he's going to hit you, aim one at you, Mogash, and you, Raiden. 
<laughs> Disobey douche, please. Okay. So. Alright. 24 to hit. Okay. And Raiden, that's a 27 to hit. Okay. Deflect missile. Okay. So that's 20, 20 points of force damage for you, Mogash. And 15 for Raiden. Okay. Alright, and, and I need you both to make a charisma save, please. Charisma? Yep. I don't like that. that okay, that's both a fail. Okay. Son of a... <sighs> well, at least I got one. So, you guys... Watch as Raiden is hit, he just disappears. Or, or evaporated. You don't know. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, yes. He, he hasn't he hasn't reappeared. Mm-hmm. All right, Fid. <laughs> oh no. Um, you do know that, uh, Mogash is in that vicinity, right? As well as your friends? As well as your friends in the vicinity, too? Uh... And destroy a lot of your platforms. <sighs> we haven't, we haven't been on the other side of this thing before. Okay. Alright. So. That's a dexterity save, correct? Did I, did I get him? Just wanted to know. Okay. Alright. So, uh, phew, boy. All right. Yeah. Okay. So, does he take both the 69 and the 71 or just one? Okay. Yep. Okay. And the crystal. All right. So, let me kind of measure this real quick. So, where where did you want to do the other circle? Yep.
Okay. Oh, here, let me make this extra large. <sighs> yeah. Uh, you go ahead. And I think you need to roll me a, a D100. Oh. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. And yeah, I'll say you have shattered a couple of the smaller crystals with that. <laughs> yes. He. Uh, yeah. I'm just uh doing damage calculation right now. Mm. It is. You don't know. <laughs> uh, let's see. DC seventy what? Yeah, like half the damage that you take. Oh, oh, for this concentration, yeah. yeah. But unless he saves on his on the spell itself, then it's reduced. Uh, let's see. Let's see, and plus any resistances he has. So, okay. Oh, math. Math is... <sighs> Fun. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's a lot. Have to get into 35. Well, yeah, for the con first concentration. He, uh, yeah. Oh, let's see. Okay. Is that the end of your turn? Okay. Uh, let's see. Croshax is very pissed. Very pissed. He's very pissed. Yeah, he's not doing too great. But he did nimbly dodge that as best he could. Uh, he's a lot nimbler than he looks. Okay. Oh boy. Um Fuck. Okay. Uh he's going to legendary ac uh action. God, he, he's got to get Mogash and uh away from there. He's got to he just can't. You can't have after that meteor clipping, destroying a couple of the smaller uh, support crystals. He's he's got he's got to get rid of them. So Mogash, uh, he's got a couple light beams coming at you. On on Didn't he hit you once already? Uh, but I reduced the damage. I didn't take any damage. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, once I take oh. damage, then the disadvantage. So if you want to roll okay. Like 
All right. Okay. Uh, what's your AC again? AC is twenty. Okay, twenty to hit then. <laughs> so I, was, I thought so. All right. Then the second. Then the second one's twenty. Twenty-one to hit. Yeah, yeah, you did. Yep. All right. All right. So you take thirty points of force damage. I need to make a charisma save. Make two charisma saves, actually. All right. So you are whoosh, vanish. And as you are van as you vanish away, you see Raiden beside you, just kind of floating there. Just vibing. All right, Serena. <laughs> Yes. He does not. Yes. Oh no. No, 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 no. Don't do it. No. You, you can measure. Remember, it's it's from the edge of him. That is. Nope, you're good. Yeah. Yeah. Oh no. Thanks. Oh no! Oh shit! What? What? Wait, what? Wait, why? How? What? Wait. Your child debate applies to thunder damage? Ah, oh, shit! Yep! Okay! It does double damage. Or. Mm hmm. Um, one sec, doing some math real quick.
Okay. For for screen, I'll I'll, I'll just make it this this color. Nice little pink. Yeah. Yeah. As yeah. As you shower it, Croshax will let out a angered yell. No! You fool! All right, is that the end of your turn? Okay. On his turn. Oh, not his turn. Sorry, his uh, legendary legendary action. <sighs> yeah, legendary. Sorry, legendary action. Uh. Oh fuck. Yeah, he's uh, he's blasting uh, peace and Gara. Uh, yes, one of his eye orbs. Okay, <laughs> 23 to hit. Nice. 23 into 25. Yes. Oh, shit. Okay. Uh, so then, okay, then Gar, yours coming at you. Uh, <laughs> uh it's a, that's a 26 to hit for you. Damn it. Son of a... Okay. Alright, Mercy. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That will hit. Okay. Right. Okay, D eighteen. What kind of saving throw? Dexterity. Okay. All right. That's twenty four. Okay. <sighs> You've burned one. Oh, no, 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 talking about his legendary resistances. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that will hit. Okay.
Wait, where are you hiding at? Where, where'd you go? I, I lost sight of you. Someone ping her. Where's where she? Oh. Some. Oh, she. Oh, there. Okay. I had, I had to zoom in on the map a bit. There we go. <laughs> okay. Vanish. All right. Yep. Okay. All right. Okay. Uh, at the end of Raiden's turn. Raiden, well, Raiden, you... Uh, sorry. Well, you can't see it. <laughs> you can't see him. But he pops, he pops back into existence at the end of his turn. So Gar is up. Yes. Peachy King. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah campaign dude's gonna be very different. <laughs> That'll hit. <laughs> okay. So. Oh fuck! Damn. Yep. D tens. Okay, math. It's thirty eight. I'm not counting the rage. <laughs> I, I just need the crit, because I got the first attack's damage down. Yeah, just the bludgeoning. 55? Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Okay. Amelius. Yes, it is. No. Yeah. Oh, what? Okay. 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 Okay, he's shielding. <laughs> yeah, the crit's still hitting. But uh, uh, shit, he is okay. He can't. Yeah, the eighteen doesn't. Uh, too late. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. 
Yeah, someone get want to give me that total. How'd you get 10? It should be, shouldn't it be 8? Oh, the crit, right. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Owie. Okay. <sighs> All right. Okay. Okay. At the start of his turn. He's going to come. Not very good. Not very good. He's going to come. Poss possibly. I don't know. It's up to you guys to decide. But he's going to come over here, and he is going to start casting a spell. And as he does, he's going to blast. Uh. Raiden and Serena with a couple I beams. I beams. Um, he is going to. Okay. okay. Uh, tw for Serena, uh, twenty-two to hit. Okay, you take. 23 points of poison damage. And I need you to make a charisma save. That was uh, for Serena. You. Not, not yet. He hasn't hit you yet. Uh, let's see. 20, 28 to hit. Yes. Okay. You take 19 fire damage. Okay. And you need to make a wisdom save. And Serena, you make your charisma save. Uh, Raiden, you fail your wisdom save. Your wisdom save. You sure? Okay. All right. so okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, you make it. All right. He's just like... Ugh. He's getting very upset right now. Upside spaghetti. Uh, let's see. Okay. All right. So as he's still holding the spell, Mogash, you pop in. At... You, re you return to existence at the end of your turn. Uh, you know, because Brayden pop popped in first, and he's like, oh, you left alone. And you're back in. And as soon as you pop back in, he claps all six of his hands together and is casting his last spell he can of this level. Time stop. So, I need to roll a d4. Nope. So. So. Well, you already used your reaction to counterspell his shield. So, he can take three turns in a row, which he can use actions, actions and move as normal. The spell ends if the actions he uses during this period or any effects that he creates during this period affects a creature other than himself. An effect being worn or carried by someone other than him. 
In addition, the spell ends if you move to a space more than a thousand feet from the location. All right. So he gets 3d4 plus 1, so he rolled a 3, so he gets 4 turns back to back. All right, what can he do? What? Damn. He could he could possibly attempt to give up, yes. Let's see here. Okay. Well, he's going to use one of his turns to cast a, sp a spell on himself. Okay. And he's going to take this time to bend himself as best he can. Okay, so that's turn two, turn three, and on turn four, he is going to cast. <sighs> Fuck, what can he do? Wow. <laughs> you guys, man, you guys are really. Man, you... make, making me have to think here. Yeah. Uh <laughs> God damn it. Oh uh, <laughs> Yeah. All right. So he's going to move here. And on his last turret no, you don't. <laughs> let's see. Actually, oh, let's see. He's going to actually take his time to move over here. Just kind of like, oh, oh, oh man. Oh, fucking adventurers ruin all my plans. Oh, dang, oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, oh man. Oh, okay, so. Uh. He is going to <sighs> Actually I guess he, he didn't have to actually move for this. Uh so he's gonna stay up here by you, Mogash. But he is uh going to cast something. Positioning, though, is the question. Okay, so... At this point here, he is going to cast Sunburst. So, everyone within 60 feet of that point, if I measured correctly, was Finn... Uh, let me see here. So, yeah, everyone within 60 feet of this point. Oh, sorry. Uh, here, let me show my... I think it was... Yeah. Yeah, it does. <laughs> But everyone within 60 feet, uh, yeah, each creature in that light must make a constitution saving throw. Fail. If you, f if you fail, you're blinded for one minute. Okay, Mogash, you succeed. He's going to use his legendary resistance, resistance to resist it. Okay. Oh, 
let's see. It is a, a grand total of 37 points of radiant damage for those that failed. Half if you succeeded. Uh, one second, let me get back to my map. Yeah. Yeah, no, she's fine. Oh, really? Wow. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, those that failed their constitution save, you take the full 37 points of damage and are blinded for one minute. Those that succeeded take half and aren't blinded. Yeah. But you can attempt to. Your attacks will have disadvantage, of course. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, also, to note, he is looking healthier than he was before. Uh, you know what? Uh, uh, a, lot healthier, a, little healthier. a lot more than he was before. It's, it's like, it's all of a sudden like, oh, I, I feel better. Oh, I, I just, I needed a nap. It's like, it's like you got like a long nap all of a sudden. But, uh, okay. Mogesh, end of your turn. Uh, Finn. Uh, death save. Okay. All right, Serena. Finn is down. Finn down. Oh wait, no. At the end of Finn's turn, uh, he's going to use use the legendary action to fire two beams at Finn. Mm -hmm. Nineteen to hit. Okay. 28 to hit. Sorry, 26 to hit. Okay. Okay. You take 19 points of fire damage. And you lose the death save. Alright, Serena. He has he hasn't died yet. He, he he he's just he's just unconscious and bleeding out and taking burns. Hurry, give him the kiss of life. <laughs> <laughs> Clerics have all the spells, man. All the spells. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good old spells. Mm -hmm. Yep. Oh. That, that's a ranged one. Did you want to be right next to Finn? Oh. Well, so that's a 30 foot radius, you said? 
Uh, uh, nah, there's no way to get Raiden. You can only get Gara and Finn. So a 60 foot cast. Okay. So, okay, there's so a point you choose within the spell's range. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's see. Well, not according to my radius ruler. But it just makes a circle. It will touch uh, Raiden and Gar, but it will just miss Finn. Yeah, Raiden's, Raiden's still got 30 some hit points. Unfortunately, like, unless she can move Finn closer five feet. Literally, he's like just one square out. You can also, you can also hold the spell until you, there's a trigger event, too. So... That is true. Okay. Okay. Okay, Finn, you're back up to consciousness. The dust saves reset. <clears throat> No. Oh, I guess I should also mention since Serena shattered the crystal, uh, Raiden and Mogash don't have anything to stand on right now. So you guys can choose where you'd want to land. You fly, right. You fly. <laughs> well, th this was before he was there. Oh, right. So, okay, I'll give you... A, if you want to try to grab onto him, um, I guess this would be a contested dexterity check. Okay. Yeah, okay. So, contested strength. Yeah. True, you are. 21? I think he'll do athletics. Oh, 22. He beats you by one. Okay. So you just, as you try to like, as you reappear, like you realize the crystal's no longer there for you to stand on. You like, you see him there, you try to grab onto him. He just like, smacks you off. So you can choose where you want to land. Land there. Okay. He just kind of backhands you over that direction. You, okay. Anything else, Serena? Okay. Mercy, you're up. Okay. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> so, sorry for the wait. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah. 28 will hit. Oof. Okay. Oh, shit. Damn. Okay. Okay. Hey. Okay. Okay. 
Alrighty. Um... Okay. <laughs> Alright, at the end of your turn, he's going to use a legendary action and is. Shoot, how many, how many, po how many points is he going to use? Oh. He is. Oh. He's gonna use uh he's gonna use two points to cast a spell. Oh, it has to be a lower level one. Uh he is going to cast uh chain lightning. Hit me. Do it. Oh gosh, she yells at him. Hit me. Okay. He Alright, he <laughs> he'll just like just kinda look at you and just like as you wish, mortal. And it's going to fire at you and chain it to uh, Raiden and then to Gara. And let me see how many people we can chain this to. Maybe if we can upcast it. Maybe. Uh... Yeah, he yeah he'll upcast it by by one. He'll use his last slot for that, and we'll chain it to mercy. So okay, so that is a dexterity. I don't know if he has uh, each. Uh, uh, doesn't. No, it doesn't have to say it. it has to be within something you can see. Just has to be within 30 feet. Just has to be within 30 feet. Within 30 feet of the last target. So if you target Gara, it can bounce to you. See so what happens when you get close to your friends? No, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, let's see. So that is... Uh, doesn't it... Doesn't increase the damage, but it can lead, lead to an additional target. Okay, so that is 10d8. Oh boy. Okay, 36 points of damage, of lightning damage. Um. Yeah, dexterity saving throw. You can't see if I'm flipping you off, man. Eh, eh, nee, nee. Shit. Eh. 30. It was 30. 38. Sorry. It's 30. Sorry. 38. My bad. Yeah. 20. DC is 22. So, Raiden, you make it. And, of course, fellow monk. No damage. Yes. <laughs> you're not. Well, you're not being tracked, Gara. It. The spell just from it just it slams into the uh, nearest what? creature or object. Oh no! Mer sorry, mercy. Sorry, mercy's vanish. So. Your first damage in the really? Oh, oh, do you have evasion two or something? Oh, spectral defense. Attack, you can see your reaction to give yourself resistance. Oh, impressive. Okay. Uh, I don't think. She, did you have advantage on the dexterity save? I don't. You're. Oh. So yeah. So yeah. So you take half of thirty-eight for succeeding, and then another half for resistance. Yeah. Yeah, because half of thirty-eight would be nineteen. Nineteen. Yeah. So.
Yeah, so you take so you take nine points. No, you take nine points of damage. Really? Damn. I need to hit you more. Stop staying out of his range. Darn it. Stay get within range. <laughs> eh. <laughs> Fair point. Okay, Raiden. You're up. Okay. Okay. I'll hit. I'll hit. No, that would just hit. You know what? No, but he's, he's going to shield this. So he's going to just block all of those. He's just going to block those. He's, he's, he, he hasn't used the reaction yet. He used the legend, uh, legendary action. And his other thing was a held action. So yeah, his, his AC is currently 27, so. Oh, the 27 would hit, sorry, so yeah. My bad. Uh, so the so 17 and 5, okay. Got it. So that's 22 points of damage. Got it. Okay. Gotcha. Alrighty. So, Gar, you're up. Oh, no. But Mogash. All right. Um, roll me a roll me a d twenty. Uh, one to ten, you miss the target. Eleven to twenty, you get within his vicinity. But you still have to. It can fly up to one hundred twenty feet. At one hundred twenty feet, its max, it will detonate. I'm just trying to see if you can get in this margin. So make sure you don't fire too high, too low, too off to the side. Fuck. Yeah, okay. Um, Mogash, I'm going to need you to roll a deck save too for this. I'm sure you'll be fine. Yeah, you'll be fine. <laughs> yep. Uh, okay. 30 points. Okay. Damn. <laughs> okay. Hmm. All right. At the end of your turn. True.
Okay. Okay. Well. Son of a what? What? Holy shit! Yeah, yeah. So, let's see. 18 and 4 is 22, plus 21 is 30, 43. Whew! Alright, subtract with the 6. I do that first since it's easier. Damn. Okay. Alright. He, at the end of your turn, he's going to use his last legendary action for this round to. Um, he is going to blast Finn and Serena. Or attempt to, I should say. Not allowed. <laughs> Alright, so. Finn. What? 23 to hit. Shit. Uh... Yeah, yeah. All right. The One minute, so ten rounds. Nope. At least let, wait. I'll double check. I won't. I won't say it for certain until I double check. Uh, and it's blinded for one minute. Uh, let's see. Okay, oh, here we go. Sorry, a, blind, a creature blinded by the spell makes another constitution save at, at the end of each of their turns. Okay, so you can make another con save if you were blinded at the end of your turn. You're still blinded. If you had advantage, you would have. It's weird. Follow the sound of their voice. Okay. Um, all right, all right, so, all right, uh, Serena, I beam coming at you, 21 to hit, all right, so you take 20 points of poison damage, and you, I need you to make a charisma save. <laughs> Holy shit! Fucking God, damn! You got a friendship here, charisma. <laughs> She's got that in spades. <laughs> All right, uh, Amelius. Boom, 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 boom. You're not. You're not. Oh right, yeah. Okay, so uh, hmm, ah. <laughs> well, he, he he can't move when he's after that because he was st he stunned himself. Oh, uh, let's see. One sec. Okay. There we go. Okay, so he is going to. Uh, let's see. Let's see, it's a radius. Okay. All right, so, uh, centered on this 
point here, he is going to cast Incendiary Cloud. So I am going to need Mogash, Raiden, and Gora uh, to make Dexterity saves. Yeah. Yep. Oh. How much key do you have? Right. Okay. Whoops, that was the wrong roll. Okay, so that is forty-nine points of fire damage to those that failed. Have for those that succeeded. Uh, you yeah you take yeah you take that even if you fail you take half. So, yes, so forty nine. Halves would be twenty twenty four. Halved again would be twelve. Yeah, and creatures in let's see the cloud moves away from him at ten feet. Uh, at the start of his turn, and each creature within it that starts their turn in it takes, uh, damage. Uh, oh, no, wait, hold on a sec. A creature must also make the saving throw when it enters the spell for the first time on a turn or ends its turn there. So, if you end your turn or enter it, you have to make a dexterity save or take another 10d8. So... Uh, twenty. Yeah, I am. Yet yeah, going to do that. Let's see. Oh, come on. Where did he send her? Where did I send her again? Wait. How big was it again? Oops, I made that a little bit too big. Yeah, I did. Okay. Uh, sorry, uh, Mogash, you didn't have to make that save. You were outside it. Sorry. Sorry about that. I, <laughs> my, 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 my mouse must have slipped. I made it too big. <laughs> All right. So, circle centered on. Bada boom. That that is a square. <laughs> Let me try this again. Extra large, okay. Is it is it alt? Yeah, there it is. It's... Oh come on. Let me zoom in here. Frickin' roll twenty. There we go. Yep, there we go. Twenty feet twenty foot radius sphere. Alright. Uh Shit. Yeah, with that, uh, I guess since he couldn't get you, Mogash, he... Let's see, what level spell was that again? Because I was a level 8, so it means he can only fire off one eye blast. Alright, so he's going to blast you, Mogash. Uh, okay. Ooh, nice. 24 to hit. Okay, so I need you to then make me an intelligence save. Yeah, I'll I'll grant it to you still. As you're kind of deflecting the blow the energy away from you mostly. Fuck Okay. Huh. You are not stunned. That's nice. Damn. And he is just He's just gonna fly up higher. Just get out of your no. out of your reach. Yeah, he's just kind of flying up higher and higher and trying to head up, like heading up into that hole in the sky. And getting closer and closer to the Divine Gate. Mogash, you're up. Okay, first, I already charged my 
started up the movement. I have enough to do. I'm going to spend a key point mm -hmm. to. Uh, hang on. Before I do that, before I do, before I do that, okay. I'm going to use my action to uh, regain a number of hit points of three times my level. My level is 18, so that's going to be 54 hit points. Damn! Make sure double. Uh, a creature must make the save when it enters the spell's area for the first time. Okay, yeah. Yep. You would be in the cloud guard. I don't have a Actually, no. No, no. I've got enough extra movement. Yeah. It takes 200 to get there, yeah. so I can bring it out of the cloud. Yeah. Because, yeah, because the drag summoner does take half movement. Okay. Okay, then I couldn't get you out of the cloud. I'd have to leave you in the cloud. Gar is tough. Gar is tough. But that will <laughs> pain. <laughs> okay, so I need you to make a deck save. Oh gosh. Okay, so you'll take uh, fifty-five points of fire damage. Oh, because evasion use. So that's a uh, twenty-two. Sorry, uh, sorry, no. Uh, tr sorry, that'd be, uh, 27. Sorry. Sorry, I saw the 22 I rolled, and like, oh, 22. Alright. See? <laughs> oh, man, just, yay, dragging your friends into the incendiary cloud! <laughs> Okay, Finn. There you go. There's... Okay. No. I'm not even sure why you did that because you were you were told before that magic wouldn't be able to charge it. You were told that. You la last last time, but this is the completed version. It's not charged by magical energy. <laughs> I was like, why are you doing this? <laughs> uh, it's it's fine. It's. Man, that, yeah, that, man, that sounds like first world problems, man. Jeez. <laughs> All right, so is the end of your turn? Okay. Okay. Serena. You're welcome. <laughs> oh, 
Okay. Okay. Alright, so you, if I remember correctly, you can connect to uh, creatures within 30 feet of you. Which everyone is. Alright. So, so this is kind of a first reverend. You watch as Serena begins kind of crackling with electrical energy and begins to connect to everyone. Oh, wait, did, now, Serena, did you want to? Hold this action until Mercy got closer, or okay, okay, all right. So that held your held action. Okay, Mercy. You see, Finn has pulled out the big cannon. Um, I could say you could probably get one shot off, uh, but he's looks like he's gonna need help hold, like picking it up. Okay. All right. So, Mercy, you got closer. I'll move you a little closer, Serena. Um, as Mercy's gotten within range, you unleash your uh, divine tethers. And for everyone, you watch as like Serena's crackling with this electrical energy around her. You see this from like her chest, this spark of energy just kind of leave from her chest. And you watch as one kind of le appears from each of your guys' chests. And as these tethers of energy bind yourselves together, you feel this connection, this bond formed between you all. As if your life is shared, that you you can feel how everyone else is doing and feeling. All right, Raiden. I uh, need you to make a dexterity save. Okay, you make it. Yeah, you yeah, so you don't take any damage. Okay. Okay. So uh, you can pull them along for half your movement. Okay. So you drag them over here. Okay. Cool. Okay. Okay. It's your action to do that, yeah. To grab them. How much is a normal push? One D four plus two. For for a basic one. Oh sorry, two D four. Yeah, two D four. Sorry. Yeah, two D four plus two. Okay. Alrighty. So next up is Gara. Okay, roll me d20. Okay, I think I said 1 to 10 was a miss. Yeah, so that's so I'll miss. I know, but that's to see if you can get it in the direction. He, cause he has moved since you last attacked him, so you you couldn't and you didn't couldn't tell he moved. 
So. Well, Finn is next to you. He could help you. Uh, pieces, too. Yeah. So. You could, you could ask for help. <laughs> True. Okay. So you see Gar kind of like all of a sudden just kind of like run out of air and out of breath and just kind of take a knee. All right, peace. Okay. Okay. Serena's actually looking okay. Raiden's not so much. <laughs> you mean... Okay. Probably... Finn. Yeah. Yeah, no, I was just, yeah. Yeah. Everyone who's hurt the ones hurt the most is Raiden and Finn. <laughs> Shrina's not too bad, but she could probably use some. Mogash is fine. But okay. True. Okay. So Alright. So as you guys all Lay your hands on the weapon. You watch as it thrums to life, humming with a, a strange power. And you all can hear a voice inside your head. Oh, let me see if I can get this to work. Okay. Power is required to fire the weapon. A life is needed. Who here will give up their life? Uh, it does not. fine. 
So you you all you yeah you all can hear this inside your heads. It's all it's asking you all since you, since you were tethered by Serena, you can all hear this. As you guys contemplate that, Croshax will kind of will look at you all. It's like... <laughs> Excellent. All in one place. <laughs> Don't know what you're planning to do, but now I can wipe you all off the face of this miserable world in one go. You watch as he brings all six of his hands together in front of him as... Arcane sigils and runes begin to form around each hand, all combined together into a larger circle as they begin to gather energy. The seven eyes swirling around his hands as well then begin to glow and gather energy. As this is happening, you guys can hear Peace and Mogash mentally kind of kind of spiritually willing to give up their lives and then you hear and then you hear Raiden and then Gara and then Serena and then Mercy Finn's the only one who has remained silent Okay. You hear the cannon speak to you all. And only one life is needed. But detecting divine connection. Life accepted. And you all feel this terrible pain from and course through all of your bodies. You s watch as these... Oh, sorry. You watch as... As this pain kind of racks through your body. You see these... Your veins kind of blacken. And your skin... Kind of... Dry out... From your hands up to your arms. As you feel your life getting drained from you. And you guys will take, let's see, this needs to be divided by seven. Uh, let's see. Okay. How's everyone doing hit points? <laughs> okay. How's fit? Okay. Yeah, you. I'd say, you, um, could maybe get one off. Okay. So, so this is. Yeah. Oh no, a superior is eighty eight plus eight. Oh. I, I think a. Wait well, no, wait. Yeah, I know. Yeah, you're right. D four. Yeah, it's eight D four plus eight. Sorry. Yeah. Yep. Sorry. That was my bad. <laughs> so this. Okay. Oh, I'm just clicking those. All right, so this is one more counting, counting math. Okay, well, this comes to a grand total of uh, I might have missed a few numbers. Uh, let's see, wait, no. Uh, sorry. Six. Uh, 
six. Okay. Yeah. Uh, over 250 hit points of damage. But divided out amongst all of you. You guys. Uh, let's see. Well, let me just do 100. Let me do a quick calculator real quick. Uh, you guys, you got, you guys take thirty-two points of damage each. Ah, that's because because you guys are all doing it together and being connected. All right. So as it draws this spark from all of you this energy needed to complete what was missing. The cannon thrums and pulses to life, emitting a bright energy from it. You see Kroshax, the energy he's gathering form and large, and he looks to you all. <laughs> Now die! And with that, he fires off his beam towards you all. And you hear the cannon tell you that it is fully charged. Okay. You guys, hold, holding up the cannon all together, you fire it off. It almost knocking you all back with the force that is released from it. You watch as it erupts with the sound of multiple dragons roaring. As you see f the visages of five dragons' heads appear, coalescing together into one beam. And then from that you see multiple other beams firing from the cannon. One taking the form of Malave, Drexel Zol, Asharame, Stregan... Uh, uh, Doronai, and all the other deities whose challenges you have completed. Combined together into one beam. But then you see seven more figures. One that looks like Serena, Peace, Gara, Finn, Mercy, Mogash, and Raiden. Combined with the beam as well. Colliding with Crowshaxes. I need the seven of you to roll me D one hundreds, please. One just one D one hundred from all of you. Okay, seventy six, seventy, seventy three, eighty, seventeen, ninety three. All right. I will have to roll seven as well. Okay, someone want someone want to total up your guys' rolls for me? Three hundred forty-nine. I'll I'll double check just to make sure as well. Oh yeah, yeah, Okay. Hmm. Wait, I got three. I got I got I got three forty. Oh wait, I missed Raiden seventy six. Four sixteen. Yep. Plus seventy three. Plus seven. Plus ninety. Okay. Four hundred twenty two. Okay. 
All right, thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much for that quick math then. All right, so your seven rules compared to Croshax's. As you guys have fired off a weapon powered by your lives, the gods, everything divine and good, all the trials and tribulations you've gone through focused into one attack. The pinnacle, the, the culmination of your experiences, your times together, everything you've gone through, colliding with Croshax's power, powered by everything you, you guys stand against, him being the corrupter, the dammer of souls, the, those that drive people to their worst impulses and urges to be the worst they can be. His beam pushes back against yours. And you can feel the cannon fighting against it. It trying to push you guys back off this platform you're standing on. It doesn't feel like it's gonna it's enough. And then you feel this connection that Serena tethered to all of you. Memories start flashing through your minds of those you care about, those who you're fighting for, those you're trying to protect. And you feel this energy well up inside all of you which then feeds into the cannon and the cannon begins to crack and split from this additional power as a beam three times the size of what you fired courses out and slams into the attack Croshax fired at you and it pushes back engulfing his attack and then him the last thing you hear is him screaming out in defiance and pain and anger as he is carried off into the heavens the attack carrying him off and slamming him into the divine gate itself you watch as the energies mix in with the energies of the divine gate as they begin to pierce and crack and shatter Croshax's body as you see each of his sin orbs of his culminated corruption of souls he has gathered over the ages destroyed one by one you see the souls that he has taken within himself being set free before the light that fills his body from your attack just shatters him into countless dozens and hundreds of pieces that begin to dissolve and disintegrate into stardust and you watch as the sky which has shattered from his his crystalline drill begins to mend and repair itself leaving no trace behind of what Croshax has done or of Croshax himself the cannon you all hold falls apart crumbling into pieces turning to dust itself fulfilling its purpose and its final use as you are told by the gods you guys try to take a moment to collect yourself to 
take a moment to breathe. As you do, you start feeling a shift in the ground in what you're standing on. Without Kroshak's there, the pieces of the tower and the tower itself begins to crumble and fall with you with it. Okay. You reach for him as you are falling. Okay. <laughs> I'll be back. We'll blink. Oh, huh? What? Oh, okay. What else? <laughs> hey guys, I'm back. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, if you, if you Raiden and Mercy want, since you guys have a flight speed doing that, you guys can try to slow everyone's descent. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. So as you guys do this, trying to slow your guys' descent, there is multiple debris coming down on top of you. And you look down at the tower below as you see it crumbling and the energy inside bursting out, flying off in multiple directions, some fl beams flying up towards you all. Yeah, as you all do your best to avoid them. Seventy. Seventy from uh, peace. 75, sorry. Okay. Or let's D10. Yeah, that's pretty low. All right, so it's, it pains you, but you, everyone kind of holding on to each other. You focus hard and cast your spell. Okay. As you go to try to cast your spell to teleport yourselves, you feel there's a kind of a disru disruption in... The energies. I'm gonna need you to roll me a, a d20, or roll me your intelligence, uh, intelligence. So. So. All right. So 24. Okay. So you do manage to get it, but you don't get to the location you want. As you teleport yourselves, you get to land, but not the ship you wanted. And you guys, as you teleport in, you're about f 15 feet off the ground. So you all take two points of bludgeoning damage for those that aren't flying. <laughs> so just Finn and Gara then. I didn't mention I was pulling out the carpet, so I mean. <laughs> okay. Well, I was gonna put Finn on the carpet. Yeah. Finn came back. <laughs> yeah. So. 
Ah, okay, so Finn, you, as you teleport everyone in, Finn landing first, and then Gara on top of Finn, and then Mogash on top of Gara, and then Mercy on top of Mogash, with Raiden and Serena and Peace just floating there. Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so. Yeah, so as you guys land, oh, you guys are right here, by the way. So, oh, sorry, uh, ping. There you go. As you guys have landed here, not quite outside of the the dead zone, but you have made it. And as you guys all get up and get, gather your bearings. You hear a loud explosion in the distance. As you guys turn, you watch as a, a wave of energy just erupts from what is known as the Land of the Fallen. Heading towards your way before it disperses and fizzles out. And where you saw the large, looming obsidian tower of Kroshaks. You now see nothing but smoke and dust. You hear the sounds of the demon forces that were there fleeing, heading back towards the opening that they came out of, being chased by ships. As you see them being attacked, Eventually, after a few moments, silence, as the forces are all gone. You all stand there in what is, could be taken as a kind of an eerie silence after everything that has happened. But
as you as you guys are enjoying this moment to discuss, talk, contemplate your mortality and what events that happened, you all watch as the last beams of hellish energy that you can see shooting up from the ground diminish and stop. And you just, it's strange, you can feel it like in the atmosphere, the air itself, that things have returned to normal. As you guys are resting, you all of a sudden hear something approaching. <laughs> As you guys look up to the sky, you see an airship coming in. A familiar looking airship. You see a very flamboyant dressed person waving their hat at you and a familiar friendly face. The face of Captain Grimwood and the ship the Sky Piercer. He kind of calls out to you like, Greetings all! I thought that was you I saw! What are you doing out here? How'd you get here? Well, I don't. Well, I don't know a thing or two about magic myself. But uh, do you all need a lift? <laughs> uh, come on, heroes! Let's get you aboard and get you uh, some nice drinks and food in your belly. Look like you've earned it. Alright. So <laughs> So as you guys gather yourselves up and carry your sore, battered, some broken bodies to the airship and climb aboard. Setting off to wherever everyone else is gathering after this we'll end the session there <laughs> we'll have the epilogue next week so so we can give it the proper time it needs so good job all of you
I played modules that lasted, you know, two, three months. I played I I played modules from start to finish. <laughs> well, oh, mm -hmm. it's it's been a very long journey, and I think we're all very much overdue for a, a bit of a break. Uh, I'm going to say at least a month. At least a month, but might be more closer to two, as I... I'm going to have to take time to prepare campaign 2. <laughs> well, I... Oh. Well. 
I hope you all enjoyed the climactic battle with Croshax, the bane of the world, and the. the Three. There you go. Nine. I wrote three threes. Oh, <laughs> from the wish, yeah. Oh. But uh, yeah. Hope you. I hope you guys had had fun and felt like there was some type of challenge. Yeah. <laughs> And you and you all know that you guys lived, you know, not for the lack of me trying to kill you guys. Since you guys were very, very true. Um, so, so, uh, Um, what, what, one, one for a uh, second, guys, as this is very, very, you know, titling conversation, uh, I would, since we're all still here, I would just like everyone to give a, a sound off, uh, goodbye to the internet, uh, before we end the stream. So, on the count, on the count of three, j yeah, I never said we ended the stream. I just, Oh, but we all know it. <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. so, with, <laughs> so with that, 
on the count of three, everyone, I'd like you all to give our wonderful audience of the few people that come and check us out a big heartfelt thank you and goodbye. On the count of three, one, two, three. Thank you and goodbye.